Hello everyone. A man who had been ill and bedridden for a long time finally called a doctor. The doctor checked him and said, "You are in serious trouble. You are living with a terrible thing. From morning to night you are possessed by something evil. We must try to find what it is and destroy it." "Shh, doctor," the man said. "You are absolutely right." but don't say it so loud she is sitting in the next room and she might hear you friends we are christians we should not be possessed by devils we should only be possessed by christ jesus as st paul says in his letter to the philippians here we must remember that our lord jesus does not seek to possess us as the bible describes how demons possess people When Christ takes possession of us our lives begin to change and are transformed into his glorious image However we need first to seek to have his life in us before he could take possession of us Friends from the scriptures we learn that Jesus made twelve appearances after his resurrection to different groups ranging from just one person to 500 people However The subsequent accounts of the resurrection appearances vary from one gospel to another and as well as from the letters of the apostles. According to John, today's gospel story was the third appearance of Jesus to his disciples. In last week's gospel reading, we heard of Jesus' first two appearances. The first time Jesus appeared to the disciples was on the evening of the first day of the week. as they were gathered behind closed doors for fear of the Jews when one of the disciples Thomas was absent and a week later when he appeared for the second time in the same place Thomas was with them Thomas seeing for himself the nail marks in Jesus hands and feet he believed friends there are several lessons we can learn and apply from today's gospel story one John recounts that after the crucifixion and death of Jesus the disciples were filled with grief and despair and hid themselves in fear of the Jews. It was while they were in hiding and praying together that Jesus appeared to them twice. Today's gospel narrates the third appearance. This time the disciples were fishing by the shore of the Sea of Tiberias or the Sea of Galilee. In essence, when Jesus appeared to his disciples, they were doing mundane work. Yes, Jesus came when they had least expected him. In fact, each time he revealed himself in a special manner and performed extraordinary works. These unexpected appearances of Jesus perhaps were subtle reminders to the disciples and to us that Jesus, who rose from the dead, is still alive and wants to be part of our life. Moreover, we can expect Jesus to show up when we least expect him to. He can appear to us when we gather and pray together in his name. He can also appear to us in secular settings, at our work, our celebrations, and while we are sharing joys or sorrows. 2. The disciples had been fishing all night, but caught nothing, which was unusual. As expert fishermen, they should know when to fish, where to fish and how to fish. They knew that the night time was the best time for fishing. And yet this time had been very unproductive. They caught no fish. In the morning, Jesus called out to them from the shore and asked whether they had anything to eat, meaning fish that they had caught, and whether they had got a sufficient quantity to make a meal for him and them. They answered no. They were then told to cast their net on the right side of the boat. And when they had done that, they hauled in 153 large fish. While some scholars know that there is no symbolic significance to the number of fish caught in the net, there have been many theories about it. Some writers argue that there were 153 different species of fish in the Sea of Galilee. Thus the catch became a symbol of the apostles drawing all kinds of people from every tongue, tribe and nation into God's family. But let us set that issue aside for now. Friends, 
The disciples' failure to catch any fish all night long is a subtle reminder to us that our attempts to accomplish something great on our own will fail. But with Jesus, all things are possible. Jesus may appear when we least expect him to, but when we most need him. But when he does appear, it is important for us to both recognize his presence in our lives and cooperate with him to accomplish great things. All too often the reason we don't recognize Jesus is because we are not expecting him. Perhaps many times Jesus passes by, while reading the Bible, during prayer and worship, or in the gathering of believers. But we misrecognize him because we are doing our own thing and not waiting on him. 3. The disciples were busy fishing until they recognized the stranger on the shore was Jesus. But once they recognized him, they immediately steered their boat in his direction. In fact, Peter could not even wait to turn the boat around. When Peter knew it was the Lord, he jumped into the sea and made his way to the shore. He was not afraid of any danger. Obviously, Peter's only thought was to get to Jesus. And this is what happens whenever we recognize and believe that it is the Lord. Friends, when we take steps to get to our Lord Jesus, He casts out all fear, removes all doubt, and eliminates all obstacles so that we may reach Him and enjoy time with Him like the disciples enjoyed breakfast with Him. For God wants to bless us spiritually, emotionally, and physically. He wants to meet our every need in Christ Jesus. Friends, today all we have to do is to pray like this. Lord Jesus Christ, please appear to us as you did to your disciples and at the same time help us to recognize you in our lives, even in adverse circumstances and cooperate with you in your plan so that we can receive greater blessings from you. Amen. God bless you.